Hi, Kathy with 3-Minute Piano Lessons. So you can see that I have a guide note challenge. It's been a while since I've had you review your guide notes. I've been asking you to circle the guide notes. But since I've started this uh, chord inversion, it's giving me another opportunity to um, play each note separately and not be so focused onto the songs. So, because um, we're more focused on chords now, so let's also review guide notes. So what I did up here, and then for those of you who are just joining us, so that you're not feeling overwhelmed either, these are guide notes. So I've talked about the middle C for the left hand here and for the right hand as well. That's how it's written. Here's your bass C. I was talking about that in the, uh, or showed that in the other video on the board. And here's your treble G. Now I didn't show the low G on the board because the board's not big enough for it. But that would, is what it would look like. Uh, so in the next row, there's your treble C, which is uh, the C above. It's the C that would be an octave above the other C, the middle C. So, and then this would be the high G, and because we also have the G, uh, more of the middle G position there. So anyway, and then I would like you actually to write them out yourself. That is excellent practice because you have to get the right space and the right line. And then down here, just circle them, get used to finding them and circle them. Now on the next page of this, which is available with this video now, there's more guide notes I want you to circle. It's just a workout here. Now I have asked you to invert this C chord. And so I think I've demonstrated on the board enough and in previous videos, you could invert that. And uh, so, the primary chords in C are the one, four, and five chords. So again, one would be the tonic of C, C position, and that is your root of the one chord when you block it like that, C, E, G. You go up four, this is a, just a review, it, your thumb would then go onto the F and you would build up in thirds, and there's your F chord. And then that is a, called an F chord or a four chord because it's four up from the C, which is the tonic of C position or C scale. So if we're going to go up five, G would be the root, building on triads, the root of the five chord. If you add the F on top, that's where you get the five seven. So anyway, just a review of that, and I'd like you to go ahead and invert each one. And again, you can learn notes because I've just given you the low G. Actually, that's written in the bass. That's your low G, and a note down from that is that F for the F chord, building up in triads. Third intervals are the triads I'm talking about.